it's hey guys, it's your boy Killer Kill 360 back with another video, and today I'm continuing. What if Prince of the Sea, Fishman Island? So sit back and enjoy the video. When we last left off, the girls was in the bath, having a good time, just talking amongst each other. As Nami gets out and she's wearing a black and white two piece so the girls leave as well as Esther is wearing a red tie with white undergarments and she leaves the back Robin all black two piece with purple earrings she gets out so the ladies leave the room as the boys step out as well as they all meet up in a big gown room as they all take a seat as Kiyoya sits down in his main chair as he's talking to the strats so what are y'all gonna do after this I'm assuming I are going to the new world. Yep, that's right, says Luffy. See, so you really, you're really going for the One Piece? Yes, I am. Well, I made up my mind before y'all was, you know, got here. I was headed out to go find the One Piece myself, and I was about to start my own crew. Is that so? Says Zoro. Interesting. Somebody as strong as you, you can definitely make it out there. Vice versa. Y'all crew, all y'all, impressed me greatly. Y'all are quite fearsome together. Oh, nah, Nami says. Stop it. You picked us apart. <laughs> no. Honestly, if I wasn't as strong as I am, if you was to come here a few years um, earlier... I'll definitely have a problem. As that shock stone. Really? So, Zoro asks the main question. Why do you pursue strength? Why are you so strong? I get it. You're a prince. You're supposed to protect your nation. I understand that. But why do that when you have other people that can also do that for you? <laughs> that is a good question. For one... I don't want to stay stagnated. After all, I am a fisherman. Battle is in my blood. Hmm. I see. That's a good answer, says Zoro. Another one, another thing, I gotta protect my family. I can't be sitting on my ass, you know? My baby girl right here, even though she can hold her on herself, I wanna make sure no harm happens to her. As Esther kissed me on the cheek. She says the same. So, I'm assuming y'all two always train together. As Esther and Kiyoya nod, yes, we train all the time. Every chance we get. Yeah, even Luffy. Luffy said, when I got here, I could sense the hockey radiating off of her instantly. And I was... I am curious about those tattoos that you have. Hmm. So, you noticed. As Esther gets off Kiyo's lap. As she stands and puts her leg on the table. Not in a loot way. But she's explaining the fact that her hockey is so immense that it constantly leaks from her body. And takes the shapes as tribal markings. That shocks everyone in the um, table. That's that's absurd. So how much hockey do you really have? Axis Usopp. <laughs> um, kind of have suffocating hockey. As she scratches her head. As um, you know, everybody's like, like, well, that's intense. But I tend not to use it unless necessary. And she returns back to Kiyoya as she puts her arms around his neck. 
and sits back on his lap. As um, everybody's like, that's that's interesting. I never heard of such a thing. As Esther claps her hands, as um, the servants begin to bring the food in, as the food is amazing. I'm talking about king crab leg, red snapper, uh, kingfish, salmon, uh, crab legs, uh, everything that you can imagine for a seafood banquet. Asanji made a special cake. He made a big ass strawberry cheesecake. And keep in mind, this is my first time in the story having a cheesecake. So when I ate the cheesecake, I was like, what is this? What do you call this? Strawberry cheesecake. No, no, no. That name is too simple for something this delicious. Asanji laughs. Yeah. Is this a regular cheesecake? No. At this at this once, I want this served in my nation every day. As um, everybody sweat drops. <laughs> yeah, we, your highness, we got it. We will write that down right away. Thank you. As I take a big chunk of the cheesecake, as I I could finish like continue eating, as I'm like. Mm -hmm. Uh, Zoro puts his hands up. Can you not talk with your mouth full? Oh, I, I'm sorry about that. Uh, anyway, after the banquet, I gotta take you out to some place that, well, some some place. It's my weapon gathering. I want y'all to pick out a weapon as my gift. So everybody's like, wait, why? <laughs> you want to give us weapons? Ain't that bad? Nah, don't worry about it. As um, they continue eating, after everything is settled, done, as the servants come to pick up the plates and then all the mess, and they all head out as Kiyo is like, well, follow me. So, let's say a few minutes go by as Kiyoya kicks the door open, making Nami shocked and everybody else is like, he's reckless. He does not care. <laughs> uh, you know, money don't concern me. I don't care about the damages. As Esther gets a pouty face, you know your dad is going to get on your head for that, right? Uh, we get to it when we get to that. Anyway, now that we're here, go pick out a weapon that y'all want. So, Nami, Luffy, Sanji, Frankie, Robin, Chopper, Brooke. Can you pick anybody else? Um, Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was going to make sure I didn't forget no characters. Anyway, back to the story. So, you know, they all had their separate ways. Azoro feels something calling towards him. As he begins to walk to the deeper end of the gallery. As he sees a sword stabbed in a stone. Hmm, Katana. What's this? What's your name? As he looks at the plate, it says, Gravity Destroyer. As Zoro eyes raises up, Gravity Destroyer. That sounds awesome. Hey, Prince. Is this sword for grabs? As I walk over, so I look at it. Hmm. That one right there is cursed. And, I mean, you can have it if you want. It's very powerful, but it will drain the user's hockey. So go at your own peril. As I looked at, as I look at it, as Zoro looks at it, <laughs> curse my favorite type of weapons. As he walks over to it, picks it up, and unseized it, unseized it. As he unsheaves the blade, it starts to drain his hockey. And another thing, the immense weight of the blade makes Zoro's hands go straight down. As Zoro catches himself, as he raises up his hand and begins to pull his hockey back. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to get along very well, Gravity Destroyer. As he keeps it back, 
As everyone wants to know the question, why do they call it Gravity Destroyer? As Esther says, well, legend has it, once the master gets used to this blade, it can very control the density of the sea itself, making the gravity, well, forcing down the water on somebody. Like there's a billion elephants on top of their head. Essentially, it controls water pressure. As a uh, Zoro shot. Hmm. And another property that comes with it, it can conjure up water itself. In fact, it can shoot water blades that can cut through steel effortlessly. Because everyone's like, what? That's crazy. And it also comes with a bonus effect of controlling gravity itself as well. Hence its name. Gravity destroy. Okay, okay. Pause a minute. <laughs> Even Robin was like, that's crazy. Why do y'all have something of that magnitude down here? Just casually sitting around. Well, your friend Zoro up to now is the only person other than Kiyoya was able to hold it. As everybody's eyes popped out, as Usopp asks the question, so, if any one of us was to grab that blade, what would exactly happen? Well, your soul would get snatched out your body, gone forever, and you'd be dead, essentially. Because everybody freaking sweat drops. <laughs> That's no reason why you had no body securing it. It would kill anyone that wasn't strong enough. Precisely. Well, Zoro is yours. Says... Kill you. I have no need for it. Oh, so have anybody else got a weapon that they want? As um, everybody goes back on their separate way, even though that was a handful to like even comprehend. So Nami comes across a fruit that's sealed. As um, she's looking at it, and I'm like, ah, oh, you interested in that? She's like, what kind of fruit is that? This, my friend. Um, this right here <laughs> is a tsunami dove. As Nami's like, oh, a tsunami dove fruit, dove fruit. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think you should take this one unless you want to deal with that. You know. You show this fruit up there. I'm pretty sure you become the most wanted person. I don't think you want a fruit of this mass destruction. As Nami is debating. If we ever got in a situation where we were stuck out in sea. This fruit would be very useful. Just in case we run to another situation with like the calm belt. Out there. As I see Nami analyzing and thinking, so you really want the fruit? Yes. It's not just, I don't want it because of destructive force. It's very um, versatile out, out in the ocean, you know? I was thinking about it in this way, like one of the times we was out in sea, we got stuck in a calm belt. And you know how infamous the calm belt is, right? Yeah, the place has no flow. The waves don't even move. Well, I think you should take it, Nami. For real? Yeah, it's all yours. I can see you can use it to its full potential. You already thought everything out. You're very intelligent, Nami. As Nami says, thank you. <laughs> As she's like, you know, I can get used to you. You're not bad. Same. Oh, it's, it's always a treat to see you around. Man, you don't... You don't skip a beat to hit on me, huh? I mean, you're light on the eyes. You're beautiful. What is not to like about you? Man, if I had it my way, I'd have to stay here with you. But, I can't be selfish because your captain needs you. Yeah, without me, my captain would be dead. But hey, let's say... After 
we find the one piece. I take your offer up on it. <laughs> I as Nami hugs me. As I hug Nami. And she, you know, she says, Can't let the you know, um worm the bird the bird catch the worm. I'll be there for you. Just gotta wait. She's like, yeah, I mean I mean, who's to say? I might find the one piece first. You know, I'm going after it as well. I'm pretty sure me and my captain is going to find it first. Mm. Competitive. I like that. As I bite my lip, she walks away with her fine ass. So, you know, we do a time skip. As I can sense, my older brother soon do the, do the um. The bubble, Jinbei, Jinbei. Hey, Jinbei says Luffy. I know that hockey anywhere. He's here. Yeah, that's my older brother. Wait, what? Your brothers with Jinbei? You waiting to now to tell us that? <laughs> it kind of escaped my mind. <laughs> it was a lot going on. Uh, yeah, well, that's my older brother. That's the reason why I'm so strong. He told me how to play. That's Jinbei. Um, touches down next to us. Hey, what's good, Kiyoya? As Jimbei hugs me as I hug my older brother. So, how's it been? Everything's been great. In fact, I came here to meet my captain. As, um, Straw Hat Luffy is my new captain. Is that so? <laughs> well, I got to meet all the Straw Hats, and they are in my good graces. Anything that they want on this island is theirs. No ifs and buts about it. Agreed, says Jinbei. So, you know, we all talking, you know, having a good time. As I'm like, well, I think I'm about to go head out and start my own crew now. Since y'all ready to leave Fishman Island. Yeah, you treated us very well. We appreciate that. <laughs> Says everybody, no problem. But I woke up to Luffy as I fence of him. Make it out there, cause you are my rival. Let's see who finds the one piece first. As Luffy laughs. <laughs> yeah, you know it's gonna be me. Cause I'm gonna be king of the pirates. Mm hmm? We see about that. As I wave the straw hats away. As they go through Fishman Island into the new world. As Esther wraps her arms around me. So, I seen you. I heard you talking to um, Nami. <laughs> you try to get her to join us. That was, that was very smart, but unfortunately, she didn't fall for the bait. Yeah, I heard her navigation skills is like the best in the world. I was trying to scoop her, but that didn't work. She saw right through me. But she did say after the, she finds the One Piece, she's willing to stay over with us. As Esther bites her lips and licks it. Can't wait as she kisses me. Let's keep in mind, Esther is down with the cause. That scene in the last part, she's, like she's, she's that's the best girl in the world. She's the best girl in the world, bro. <laughs> She tried to set me up, bro, with another baddie. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, Esther's like, well, our things is ready to head out. They should be in good hands. Your brother Jinbei's with them. Yeah, speaking of that, um, me and Jinbei had a talk. You probably heard it, since you know you have the worst of all things. Yeah, I made sure Jinbei um, keeps an extra eye on Nami. Just to make sure nobody... Um, Tries to sneak her. But honestly, babe, was it a good idea to give her the tsunami devil fruit? Hey, if anybody's gonna use it to its full potential, it would be fine. Yeah, I see. She does know her weather patterns very, very well. And plus, it gives them an extra layer of protection from the sea. I just don't know how Neptune is gonna feel about it. And God forbid my dad hears about it. I'll take care of that. 
I'll make sure he doesn't go on a rant here. Okay? Alright. As I guess so. As I set sail and say bye to my kingdom, as we do a time skip. Now, me and Esther are heading to a very special island. So special, in fact, that um, it's run by a beautiful woman. This place seems to amaze me every time I come here. Wow, so beautiful. As we sell inside of Amazon Lily, as we touch down, and when we touch down, we begin to walk to the main capital. As everybody gets out their houses and storms us. Kiyoya! Esther! Welcome back! They all say, as we, we wave to them. As they take us straight to their leader. Because we ask, where's Boa? And she's in her throne office. Okay, so we walk there. I walk up the steps. I open the door. There's the singing Sonya, Boa, and Miracle. As Boa looks in our direction, as her eyes light, light just up. As she blitzes towards the both of us and hugs us. How's it been? I miss both of y'all. We miss you too, Boa. I know, I, ch I try to get out and visit, but I'll be so busy here, I can't do it. As, um, you might be wondering, why is Boa so nice to me? Why is she being so sweet? Well, <laughs> ask Esther. <laughs> Let's just say one night that we was here, we got a little frisky, if you catch my trick. So, Boa sees me in the highlight, like, the same way she looks at Luffy, to break it down for you. And same vice versa for Esther. She loves us dearly. So, we all have a seat, and she asks us, so, what brings y'all here? And that's where I'm gonna leave the what if. So, if y'all want a part four, like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video. And uh, next part is going to be fucking action packed. Because some events might happen a little bit earlier than they should. In fact, you might hear. -ha 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 in the next part. And if you know who that is. You already know things is about to get real. So. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Other than that, it's me, your boy, Killer Kill 360. I'm out. Peace.